revolutionary greetings comrades we might all of us have read the long statement from the united states announcing the removal of sanctions um, a lot needs to be clarified uh, in that uh, statement so that uh, all of us understand what it means uh, with the assistance of some comrades particularly honorable uh, Descent Collins Pachila, MP for Luve, Vemakandene. They did a, a simple explanation for everyone to understand. So these notes are taken from their chat group where they, they did uh, this, this uh, summary. <clears throat> uh, so let's look into the summary of what was said in, in the sanctions uh, in that statement by the United States. But before we look into that, uh, the Zimbabwe Communist Party were on record saying we oppose all forms of sanctions. The United States should not be the policeman of the world. Sanctions are used by the United States to advance its own economic interests. So we just want to underline that the Zimbabwe Communist Party does not support any forms of sanctions, be it in Zimbabwe, in Venezuela, in Russia, anywhere in the world. We do not support sanctions by the United States and her friends. So that's, that's the post underlining position of the Zimbabwe Communist Party. But the summary, which was done by uh, comrades, as I've already mentioned, um, it's important to mention this was <laughs> honorable uh, Descent Collins, Pachil, and others says the summer of the new U.S. approach to Zimbabwe. One, all persons sanctioned under the old Zimbabwe sanctions law will be removed today, meaning on the date it was announced, from all FAC's old sanctions list. The said list dates back to 2003. A lot has changed since then. Two, a small group of persons have been to date designated under the global Magnitsky program is the first time a sitting head of state has been designated under the Magnitsky program. The effect of the new global Magnitsky measures is that all property and interests in property of the designated persons that are in the United States or in the possession or control of U.S. persons uploaded must be reported to OFAC. The designated persons are President Emerson Nangako, uh, First Lady uh, Oxliam Nangako, a uh, businessman Kutakwache Reg Montagore, the San Rampunga, Sakunda Holdings is a company, Fossil Agro is a company, Fossil Contracting, uh, Ope Chimunga, uh, Constantine Nochiwenga, the Vice President of Zimbabwe. Opa Muchingura is a Minister of Defense. Uh, Kutwin Matanga, Stephen Mutamba, Owen Nube. Uh, the Republic of Zimbabwe can now access lines of credit from institutions where the U.S. holds shares. Zimbabwe bank account holders can now do online purchases from U.S. companies and so forth. Right? Uh, then there was this question, uh, which is which is um, <clears throat> uh, arising from the statement from the United States uh, on uh, Matt Niski, uh, uh, and the comrades were asking. So, as I have already said, that in Honorable Descent Collins Bajila of Luveve Makanden and others, uh, then it did uh, uh, this brief so that all of us will understand what this is. This is. Uh, he says, uh, Sergei uh, Leon Divok Maknsky was a Russian lawyer who specialized in tax law. He worked for a legal audit firm in Moscow called Firestone Duncan. A client, Hermitage Fund, instructed the legal audit firm to do some investigation and audit. This uncovered a fraud through which more than 200 million US dollars had been stolen from the Russian treasury, spritted out of the country, and laundered through a network of criminals and officials. When this was made public, frivolous charges were leveled against Mark Minsky, leading to his arrest 
imprisonment, denial of medication, at medical attention, despite the pancreas diagnosis and death in police custody. He was 37 years old at the time of his death. A program of identifying and punishing officials and the companies that participate in and or promote high profile corruption only to respond with impunity when exposed is called Global Mikninsky Program in US and the UK. Until yesterday, uh, uh, no serving head of state had been included in this list. Please share your views right in the comment section. I am Mabuto, Nicholas Magbena. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you are on TikTok, please do follow us as we continue to discuss the issue of sanctions against Zimbabwe. Thank you.